Hey everyone, it's Lori. I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I hope you guys are all healthy, happy, having some fun in life. My lovely, lovely Libras, my cross watchers, my channel fans, you guys are awesome. I love you to pieces. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. If you are new, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that keeps you coming back. All right, let's go ahead and see who we're talking about today. I don't know why I set the deck down. Guess I'm still feeling a little <laughs> tired and lazy. Oh my goodness. I am feeling better. I'm not feeling quite myself yet, but I am doing better. Let's pull that curtain over there. Get the the light off the cards so you can see the cards. All right, what magical quality do you possess? The Four of Cups. You have a magical quality about you that says that you just won't settle for things, okay? You know there's always something better than the least that you're being offered. So I'm hearing a couple of different things here. When somebody approaches you with love, if they don't offer you enough love, you're like, nah, I think I'll hold out until somebody wants to give me what I deserve. Okay? If this is a financial endeavor and somebody wants $5,000 for a car that you know is only worth three, you're like, eh, I'll give you four. Okay? So you don't just settle. You really think about it and you stick to who you are, what you're worth, what you're willing to accept, and what you're not. You are very good at being able to turn offers aside. Okay? This is not um, prejudging people. This is about knowing what you're worth and what you want out of life. Okay? And once you have that quality, which you have this in abundance, okay? You've got abundance in your life. You've got healing. You've got friends. You've got everything that you could ask for. This is not about deprivation, okay? Or prejudging. This is accepting things as they are and saying whether you will accept them into your life or not. Like that car is that car. It is what it is. If the person doesn't want to sell you that car for your offer, you, you can walk away because you know there is a car out there that you will find that is of equal value to what you want to pay for it. You're not going to pay too much for something that's not worth it. You're not going to get involved in a relationship for very long. You will get involved in a relationship. But if you see that it's not giving you back what you're putting in, it's not worth your time, okay? Very good quality to have, being very discerning, understanding your self-worth and your value, okay? And not just jumping on the first thing that comes your way. All right, what is something that you've accomplished in the past that you should be proud of? Yeah, justice. I think this is where this comes from. You encountered a situation that was definitely not equal give and take. Okay, this may have been a past relationship, a marriage, a friendship, um, long-term re relationship, your parents, okay, and you. Um, whatever the situation was, it was definitely all you giving, 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 okay? And um, you finally said, you know what, I know what I want out of life. I'm going to have equal um, what, what I deserve, See, this is where this came about, okay? This past accomplishment here of realizing that you were the one giving, 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 not receiving what you should have. So you cut that situation off, okay? And moving forward from there, you say, okay, if we're in a relationship, you need to be equal here with me, balanced, fair, just. I'm not going to just settle for anything. Beautiful energy. Love this. And that's a major accomplishment. A lot of people think that they understand um, what they want out of a relationship and so on and so forth and what they're willing to take and what they're not. But once people get involved in the relationship, they find themselves settling for things that um, just don't work. Okay. And you will, at that point, make your desires known. And if this person cannot meet you halfway then you will let them know that this is not working for you, okay? 
and you will not stay in that situation. You will remove yourself and go look for something that is better for you. Life is all about the encounters we meet. Not every person that we meet is meant for us. Some are just here to teach us lessons, okay, and then move out of our life. And we do the same thing in other people's lives. What kind of impact do you have on the people around you? People love being around you. You're open. You're honest. You're a ray of sunshine. You're a breath of fresh air. Yeah, you, you know, you just accept things for how they are. People for who they are, okay? Does not mean that you have to put up with anything or tolerate or anything. But people, when they come into your presence, they really feel comfortable. They feel calm. They feel happy, okay? They get rid of their worries and stresses. Beautiful impact to have on people. I'm also hearing that you have a very healing, tender touch, okay? You commune with nature. You're very um, down-to-earth, but very spiritual also. Nice, nice, nice. All right. What's another skill or trait that you have that we should know about? The Ace of Pentacles. That you do take divine inspiration to start things fresh, to start things new. You wake up every single morning and you say, it's a beautiful day. I wonder what adventures are going to come my way. And you always start off fresh. And you do feel like this is divine. You do feel like that energy that you have when you wake up is beautiful and spiritual and you know no matter what comes your way when it doesn't work out you just release it at the end of the day you just let it go and start the next day fresh everything is fresh everything is new I'm going to take my experiences and put them in my back pocket I'm not going to focus on things that didn't work out Okay, but when I encounter a similar situation, I, I'm going to pull the, that notebook out and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to say, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yes, that does work. So, okay, that's how you are very discerning. But you wake up every single day with this bright, energetic feeling. I'm trying to get back to this. This is how I used to wake up. Don't get me wrong. I'm not waking up miserable or anything else, but I just don't have that... Um, Vive du jour, I guess, that lust for life, the what am I going to encounter today? But I've been hiding myself away. I've been in hermit mode, so I'm trying to break free of that. And I hope you do too. I, I don't think whoever this message is for, you've already, you're in a beautiful place, okay? If you're like me though, and you are one of those people that's not waking up saying, oh, life's awesome, then we got to focus on doing that. I actually tell myself that every morning when I wake up, okay? But it's not the same as just waking up with that in your heart, in your soul. That's what you have. All right. What is something that you do that you should never, ever, ever give up doing? And this is the Knight of Wands. Taking the lead. Go ahead. Go adventuring. Check things out. Be excited about life. Learn. Have fun. Absolutely. That ties right into this waking up with this energy. This is soul energy, okay? No brain involved. This is soul, all right? And that's funny. Soul, S-O-L, is the sun. So this is soul, sun energy, the light, the divine. I love that. That's cool. All right, so don't ever give up on being adventurous, checking things out, being excited about what's uh, ahead for the day. Even if you know that there's a bad, you know, encounter or conversation or situation that you have to face, you don't let it bother you until you get right there and get involved. And then you find out it's not anywhere near as bad as it could have been. All right. We have the two of swords here. Yes. When it comes to love, you do wear blinders as far as unconditional love for your family, for those that you have built trust with, okay? For others, for other situations, you don't wear the blinders. You take those blinders off. You see the truth. You always get the information that you need, okay? And if you feel like you don't have the information that you need, you pull back from whatever the situation is until you do feel comfortable and feel like you have all the information, 
So this is a beautiful reading. If it's yours, go ahead and uh, claim it in the comments. If it's resonating at all, like it. Okay, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, we would love to have you as a member of this awesome, awesome community that we have here. Memberships are open. Oh, don't let me forget. I'm going to go live this Saturday, November 3rd or 4th. I can't remember which it is. Um, at 1 o'clock my time, which is same time as New York Standard Time. Okay, so whatever time New York is on, whatever day New York City is on, that's when uh, I'm going live. Okay, so Saturday, 1 p.m. my time. Mark your calendars. It's going to be fun. All right, we have antelope uh, spirit here. Life is speeding up. Let's see what else we've got. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. So I'm thinking that life is about to get crazy on you and you're going to need to take a break. That's what I'm hearing over here. All right, let's, oh, there are sweet results away. And that came out in the um, singles love reading too. Boy, that singles love reading turned out to be twin flame soulmate, the whole nine yards. Interesting. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. All right. Antelope Spirit says, life is speeding up. Whoops, just about dropped my book. When Antelope Spirit rushes into your life, you are being reminded of the quickening of your personal evolution as a powerful co-creator. Love that. You are being told unequivocal, unequivocally that it's time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams real. There is an intensity you can feel right now, and it is important to take advantage of this, this vast energy that you're feeling. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to set, step it up. If you're asking about a relationship, make that first move. That was also in the singles love reading, okay? Just know that the intentions that you have set in motion are coming together now at warp speed. Stay alert and keep up. Things are getting interesting when Antelope Spirit calls you to move quickly. Now, I think it's funny that we're in oppositions here. Duality. Speed up, but take it slow and steady, okay? That was also in the um, general reading and the uh, singles love reading. So... This is a theme that is happening right now, okay? Duality. Seeing both sides of everything. All right. So Turtle Spirit says, Turtle Spirit arrives to remind you that when you do what you need to do, putting one foot in front of the other and trusting that you will see your intentions manifest in perfect timing, then your prosperity and love will grow exponentially. Now is not the time to rush around trying to force matters. Move slowly, perhaps even so slowly that it almost feels as if you are not moving at all. This may be a time to crawl before walking, taking your time to align to Turtle Spirit's place as you contemplate this road that you are on, doing what you need to do in this small moment that will soon pass. Turtle Spirit reminds you that sometimes the best action is to slow right down. So if it feels as if you are not doing enough, know that simply being aware of what is happening right now may be more important step towards determining whether you need to pivot or simply keep putting one foot in front of the other. True love and true success comes with patience, says Turtle Spirit. Focus on the now and the next step will be clear. That was big in the singles love reading. Um, really focusing on being in the now, letting the past go. Okay, but this is actually working together because if life speeds up, we don't want to just go crazy and become chaotic. We want to think about what we're doing. We want to slow down and focus on what is happening so that we can make the best decisions um, with the knowledge that we have. And if there is a need to pull back until you get the correct information, do so, okay? Life may be, may be speeding up, but that does not mean that you have to go into a place of chaos to keep up, okay? 
very good information there. Um, I have the Wild Wisdom of the or Fairy Oracle. Uh, I think I may have done this in yesterday's reading. I'm not sure. I'm so confused on what day of the week it is. I'm pretty sure this is coming out on Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. End of October, going into fall now with full November. We're fully going to be in November in a day. And there is another eclipse coming up on November 8th. Okay, so that will have some effect on us. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Fairy Oracle message is. Fairy lovers, new love, courtship, romance, falling in love. So there is love heading your way for some of you. Let's see what this says. It says... You are about to fall in love. It is most likely to be with a beautiful other who you will be spellbound by. Do not fear. They will love you too. And the rapture that will come from this coming together will outweigh all the fear that you have experienced or anticipate experiencing at its loss in the past. This really is speaking to the single love reading. So, Remember, let go of your past experiences so that you can open yourself to this new person who is guilty of nothing towards you. They're offering you love. All right, love is new, but it may also be the experience of the revival of a deep, fresh love in a mature relationship. So this is saying that this may be a marriage where love is being revived in a very, very deep way. All right, courtship. Being romanced and swept off your feet. You will find you and your love are both magical beings who respond best to being outdoors. Making love under the trees will help you stay in love and experience ecstatic union. A wild, free, deep, and true love is in bud. Oh, rapture. Oh, deepest and wild of joys. I just love these, this book. <laughs> so there is love def definitely coming in here for you. New love, a revival of the love that you have for somebody already. I'm hearing that Spirit wants me to pull another card here. This one says mother and daughter. Oh boy, okay. So mothering, teaching, sharing knowledge, and nurturing self-worth. Very important. Let's see what this one says. Okay. This says... Time to spend an afternoon with your parents and or your children, to take them somewhere natural and teach them gently the ways of the fairy world. Do this through connection with the earth and what springs from her, the sky and what flies through her, the sea and what swims beneath, and the fiery sun and what grows from her power. Yes, indeed, the sun is goddess too. Think of Grian, the Irish dragon fay goddess of solar energy. Think about how to teach your children how to be themselves, offering opportunities for natural wisdom being learned. Offer to spend time with children teaching meditation, flower lore, nature loving, and animal wisdom. Let your mother and father know you think of them and care for them and thank them for their, te their teachings in whatever form they came. Love your children and know that you are their most important teachers ever. Okay, I really like that message. That was beautiful. All right, um, my lovely, lovely Libras. I feel like I need more. I'm being told to give you more. I don't know why. Let's see what the ast astrology has to say. There is a, um, an eclipse going on right now. I believe it's... Uh, Mm. Now I can't remember. I want to say it's in Aries or Scorpio, but I'm, I don't know. I haven't felt good for the last couple of days, so I'm not really clear headed. All right, let's see what astrology messages are coming through here for you. Virgo energy. All right. Integrity, reverence, and service. So about, um, understanding the nature of love. Okay. That reverence for people, for nature, for um, being connected. 
beautiful energy here. Self-express and embody truth through the sun. You've got the sun card twice here, okay? So self-express, be who you are, be adventurous, you know? Embody the truth of, of reality here. There's uh, definitely some stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. If you're a Libra, yeah, those are all very good qualities for you. I'm going to take one more um, astrology card here. We have house eight. So there's maybe some sort of transformation, karma, focusing fears, or facing your fears, and legacies. So things that you want to build um, for the future. But this is also legacies of your own family, where you've come from, your roots, okay? How, how have you transformed from that young child into this grown adult? Do you... Feel secure, safe, stable. Do you still fear things like talking to your parents honestly? Okay. Remind yourself that you are loyal and dependable. Okay. And that you have this beautiful reverence um, and are willing to accept people for who they are. Okay. Beautiful messages here. Beautiful messages. All right, I guess I am going to leave it there for you, my lovely, lovely Libras. Let me know if you like having the astrology and the uh, fairy oracle messages here. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.